Alright, so I already have all of the packages I need in this demonstration copied. So if you pause the video, you can go ahead and copy all those down. Or if you want, you can just wait to the end. And all the source code from these tutorials, I'm going to be putting in my forum. So if you just want to hop over there in the Android section, you can just copy it and paste it. Whatever. And ugh, let me adjust here. So the first object that I'm going to create and you guys are going to be really familiar with this is a sprite batch object now sprite batch works behind the scenes to make drawing things and displaying things on the screen really quick and efficient and you guys are going to see exactly how we use that in just a second and since this is a tutorial for just displaying simple text the text that we're going to be using is actually bitmap font this is just pretty much the font and I'll just name that font so now in create remember I told you guys that create is the method where you pretty much set everything up so for the batch object we're just gonna set this equal to new sprite batch and it doesn't take any parameters and for the font object which is actually the object that we're gonna be displaying on the screen just set this equal to new bitmap font and right now we didn't add any parameters this is essentially equal to a blank font object it doesn't have any text it doesn't have any colors anything like that now by default the parameters on your font I, I believe are 15 pixel and Arial now on pretty much any device nowadays like um, especially the newer phones with super high resolution 15 pixels is really really small I mean if it's like 1080 then what's 15 pixels it's like a little dot on the screen so I'll show you guys how to kind of uh, scale your font up in just a bit but now that we have the object the first thing I actually want to do is change the color of it just to uh, keep things interesting so it's called set color and if we just go color pick your favorite color so now we have blue font and for the size of it we can actually call scale and we can just grow it by five times so let me give myself a little bit more space so now we're working with big blue font pretty sweet and we just have the parameters set but we didn't actually display on the screen yet now before I do that I actually want to include this method dispose now get rid of all this now as you can see it's an override method and this is another method that gets called automatically and it's from of course application adapter so this one gets called whenever we first start the app this one gets called over and over pretty much as our game is running now dispose it gets called at the end of your life cycle so when this class when pretty much your device is done using everything in this class and the reason that we want to call this is because this is where we get rid of all our resources free them up in other words dispose of them and if you guys are like this is the boring stuff memory management I'll skip over this do not because if you don't dispose of your resources and don't free them up you're gonna have really really bad memory leaks on your phone and stuff is gonna start to happen real slow and it's gonna suck probably gonna need to restart your phone and cars are gonna start crashing in and meteors are gonna start raining down from the sky do not skip over this method it's very important so the first thing is batch I'm gonna dispose of that and also font dispose of that so now that we got all the memory management freed up our resources when we don't need them because hey we're not greedy now in the render is where we actually display it on the screen so I don't know that's kinda of what the whole purpose of it is now before we display anything on the screen you're always gonna have two lines of code in here and this is kinda weird but this is just how you do it we pretty much need to wipe the screen clear everything out so we're working with a blank canvas now if you call gdx dot gl dot gl clear color what this is first is you need to give it a color to clear with so just think of this as you're making a paintbrush and you're gonna wipe paint your entire canvas a certain color before you start adding game elements to it now the parameters that it takes are RGBA which mean the first three are your red green and blue 
and your last one is your alpha, your transparency. Now, if I just go one, 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 that means bump up every value. In other words, it's white. Now, the reason that the last example was red is because they went one, zero, zero, which pretty much means all red and nothing else. So if you, I don't know, if you just are following along this tutorial and you want to print it out as red, do that. But 111 says we now have a white paintbrush. So now what we want to do is we want to call gdx.gl.gl clear. And in here we want to call gl. This is kind of weird looking but these are just the built-in parameters that they gave us and gl 20 gl color buffer bit so again all this says is we want to clear the screen with this color in other words we want to clear it with a white paintbrush so if you just ran this right now we would have a blank white screen however we don't want that we actually want to draw the font on the screen so in order to draw what you first need to do is you first need to begin your batch object because remember I said that this essentially speeds the drawing process up so we want to say batch dot begin and inside begin and from the time it ends so make these two that's where you want to do all of your drawing at now the only thing that we have to display on the screen in this tutorial is the font so we're going to take that font and we're going to draw. Now, whenever we draw it, we actually need to pass batch in. And remember, up here we just set a bunch of parameters. Pretty much we're choosing our font, just like you would in like Microsoft Word or something. We didn't give it any text yet. In other words, we didn't say what text we want to appear on the screen. So I'm just going to type like, hello, I hate hello world. I think it's stupid. So I'll say hello baby don't say maybe explanation mark and so now we have text set up ready to go but we have to add two more values and that's where do we want it to appear on the screen now of course these are just the X and Y values 100 400 and another thing I want to point out is whenever you're working with coordinates in this framework 0 0 is the bottom left I know in a lot of other programming languages and a lot of other frameworks, it's the top left. But remember, in this, it's the bottom left. So this X and Y coordinates, it's going to appear somewhere in the bottom left. So now let me show you guys one cool last thing. Now, whenever I'm making a game, this emulator, of course, as you guys know, I don't have to say this, it's incredibly slow and annoying to work with as well. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to click this Android. And if I click this button right here, this is the screen recorder for my phone. So I have a phone that's actually plugged into my computer, a device. It's actually the phone that I carry around and use every day. Now I'm going to hit start recording. And whenever I do that, it's going to start recording the screen on my phone. Pretty stinking awesome. So kick off the program. Make sure that it's running in your phone. And build this baby. Build it up. Uh, 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 what, what, what? Yes, I want to run on my phone. And I'll wait to verify that it is running. I'm looking at my phone right now. All right. So I'm looking at my phone. It just popped up. Now, do I want to record my phone? Yes, I do. So now it should be recording. And uh, again, like I said, I'll just take this and I'll pop it into my videos. But as you can see, 100 over, 400 up. Again, the coordinates are in the bottom left, and uh, yeah, it's looking good so far. So let me just stop that recording. And by the way, this is just how you save everything. So yep, yeah, that looks good. And I'll just hit OK. So anyways, that is how you make simple text that appears on your phone, and again, Right now we just have some text, boring, but eventually we're going to be drawing some cool stuff like enemies, main characters, it's going to be sweet. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.